Welcome to Port Moody Trasolini Turf for today's main event, the Pakenham Cup. Today's starting 11s, Port Moody Gunners, number two, Vaughn Andrews. Number 11, Chris Atadia. Number 21, Daniel Bordignon. Number 12, Andrew Salenza. Number 19, Kevin Como. Number 16, Grayson Corney. Number 23, Ryan Gordon. Number nine, Isaac Mendoza. Number 14, Ryan Moon. Number seven, David Robson. And starting in goal, number one, Brad Taverna. Coach is Larry Morrow. Assistant coach, Richard Clune. Your man in the middle today, Kyle Williams. And now the Langley United starters. Number four, Will Folstad. Number five, Paul Ballard. Number three, Devin Gilroy. Number 16, Colin Jones. Number nine, Tyson Keem. Number 14, Liam McAllister. Number 11, Mike Perry. Number 15, Mitchell Rolla. Number eight, Braden Volkanant. Number 20, Reese Volkanant. Number seven, Brent Watke. And your starting goaltender, number one, Colton Keem. We'll now do the uh, coin toss followed by the national anthem. And welcome back for the start of the Premier Final here. FVSL Premier Final between the Port Moody Local Gunners and Langley United. We saw a little preview of this the under 21 match up this morning, Jake. Now it's a great game. And now we see the Premier Division battle it out. Port Moody in the black and red. The AC and Milan jerseys, as we yeah. were talking about. And uh, Langley in the white and black, so we're underway here. The ball played. And tight, and a nice crowd forming here for this matchup of two great football teams. Ball out of bounds there. It'll be a throw for Port Moody. Wanky. Langley recovers now off the back here. Picked up by Andrews and Langley bit. deep ball and that uh, will be headed away. A little bit faster paced than the last game. Certainly a different age group, yeah. So guys in their you know, early, early 20s. Early 20s to mid 20s. And uh, you know, also thankfully it stopped raining. Hopefully that uh, continues. Looks like a first corner kick here quickly for Langley. Everyone in the box here for uh, Port Moody. We've seen about three goals from corners today, so it wouldn't surprise me if we saw another one. Almost. Chance in tight. And, and there it is. It's in. Just off the bat. Kind of a pinball in front. 
and it goes in off the foot. Checking the number on the back of the jersey there. Number nine, Tyson Keem. You know, I gotta be in honest. the opening minutes. I don't even know if that went off his foot. It looked like it went off his thigh, kind of. It just, it was a, a kind of a, a ping pong play where it went off of his body and went right in, I got. And um, again, just whatever happens, you, you know, we've seen how dangerous corners can be today. And the first corner. Opening uh, goal in today's goal. Packingham Cup final. Langley Phil United, is gonna go. Reese Volkanen. In favor of Port Moody's goal. Right off the bat there, Jake, one nil Langley. First real threat of the game, ball goes in. So Port Moody already coming from behind as that shot goes over the bar and out of play. And how often do you see a goal that fast? Uh, hardly ever. Mendoza up front for Port Moody. He'll be uh, shadowed all day by number seven, Brent Wanke. Ball is played back. And that'll go Langley's way for a throw. Overturned by the referee. Quickly in. And Keem gives away to Mendoza. So a couple of throw-ins here in succession on the far side. And now Mendoza plays it. Trying to catch his man in stride. That's Gordon. Unable to, and quickly in. Like you said there, Jake, this is a bit of a faster pace. It's the highest level of amateur soccer in the Fraser Valley, this premier division. And like you mentioned as well, a couple of former collegiate players, um, specifically on the Gunners, um, you know, these are guys who have played at high levels, some NCAA levels, so you're talking about uh, guys who are well experienced, but also not that old. So uh, they have the experience, but they also have a younger body, able to take more punishment and able to move around um, at a fast pace. So should be an exciting game. And already we have a goal and it hasn't even been 10 minutes. I, in the first game, I think the first goal came in the second half. Uh, second game, the first goal came late in the first. And then in the second game, or the third game, pardon me, uh, goal late in the, the second half. So we're seeing uh, already a faster pace. That ball goes out of play. And now Robson will throw it in for Port Moody. Tadia now inside for Gilt. No chance, just out of the reach there, the intended target. And as the ball goes in the corner, off a of shin now in the box. And a loose ball there, oh. chance in front for Andrews, who lost his step. Now back with Tadia, and it's cleared to center. And now time for Komu to regroup. Great defending by Wenke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very aggressive back there. Back of the park. And let's see how much room they actually give this uh, Port Moody team now that they're already, oh. already down a man. And that's a collision. <laughs> wow. Now here's Andrews. That ball's out of play. It'll be a throw in for Port Moody. Is this Temple really? keeping its pace thus far. Yeah, it's a surprising non-call, I'd have to say. Perry. Now it's K 
Keem plays it back, now back with Keem. To the side, just out of the reach of Fulstad. And it'll be a throw on the far side for Port Moody. Moon plays it back. Corny. Aerial pass and a whistle blown. For whatever reason, the ball must have not been set. We had a one nothing, a quick goal there by Langley, and quick one no lead here in the opening minutes. That ball is played out. Now a chance here for Langley once again in numbers. The ball is played back. Chance here for Wilkin that. Now it's a uh, roll up. Playing it back. Here's Wilkin Vulcan that, excuse me. Headed by Perry. And now settled down. A bad uh, giveaway there by the defender. Yeah, back with Langley now a chance headed in and a quick grab there by the goalkeeper. Port the right goal. Yeah, Port Mooney's got to be a little bit more uh, decisive in what they do. They are in their own end. They're not really uh, sure of who they're going to pass it to or what they're going to do next. And that leads to another really good chance by Langley. Uh, they have to make quick decisions and smart decisions. You can't hold on to the ball forever. Uh, when you have a team like Langley that's going to attack and force you to give it up. Ball's out of play. As Robson could handle it, now a throw for Langley. Head of one by Langley, now here's Mendoza. Settling and taken down. It'll be a free kick here for Port Moody. This is going to be a good opportunity for Poco, or pardon me, Port Moody. Got yeah, taken down by uh, Rola, and now we'll, we'll see the first set piece for Port Moody. 24 yards. And we haven't seen many shot attempts at this angle. Right off the wall. And, and that's why. Plays it, yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's such a tough, uh, tough shot to... Long range shot, and that one goes well wide. And really, to, to you have to arc it absolutely perfectly and then have a kind of a downspin on it so it goes and settles itself in the bottom corner, and it just doesn't happen that often. That's why, especially uh, at this level, you see a lot of guys simply just take the opportunity to pass it to another player uh, who has a better angle of uh, the net. Goalkeeper's first touch there off that kick. Perry had it along. Here's Solenza. Send it back to his goalkeeper, Lorenko. Lorenko, quick touch to Kamu. And now Robson. The Andrews. Kamu back to Andrews. Matadia. Playing it out wide. Some nice wheels there from Corny. And uh, he'll settle it down. Once again with Atadia. Playing it back to Lorenko, the goalkeeper. And now Corny. In the middle to Atadia. Little one touch here now. Robson has it. Down to Salenzia. Trying to go across and the offside flag is up. And blown dead as Pomo had some good possession there until that offside flag came up. They really were getting in the swing of things. Now yeah, crisp passes and smart passes after a really lackadaisical start by them. It seems they've picked it up and, and they're also playing uh, smarter football. Take you back to uh, Corny. 
Fancy footwork. Now a chance here, Andrews on the run. A bit oh. too far ahead of for his liking is, is corralled by the goalkeeper, Akeem. Chance here to make it 2-0. That oh. shot goes wide as it was Colin Jones with the hook. And it'll go for a goal kick, but a good opportunity there for Jones to make it 2-0. Shot went wide left. And a goal kick for Lorenko. This is our fourth game of four on this championship Saturday. We had the under 21 final, followed by the President's final, Masters final, and now the Premier final here in Port Moody. And the hosts are in the final facing Langley, which has come out to a 1-0 lead here early on. Has a chance for Mendoza, oh. tripped up, and that's going to be a penalty shot. Tripped up in the box, and no doubt about it. But no hesitation from the referee. And there was no doubt, it, and certainly he stopped his progress uh, getting to the ball. Uh, didn't get any of the ball, really. Just got the entire boot of it, and now he's going to have his opportunity and what a de defending error um, that is. And now you have a point blank chance, such as a penalty shot, as we discussed, 75% chance. So here's Mendoza against Keem to make it 1-1. And it's good. Keem guessed right, but just not quick enough to get across. And Mendoza ties it up at ones here early on in the first half. Yeah. So right back to even squares. And a clinical finish there. He Able hit it in the bottom left corner, the near corner, and really enough power that even though uh, Keen guessed right, like you mentioned, uh, not fast enough, and just too much power behind that to stop, and we've got a 1-1 game here. It's a Tadia. Just over 14 minutes gone in this first half, and it's already 1-1. And I would say, respectfully, by far the fastest pace game of the day. Absolutely. Uh, although the under-21 game had a very good pace to it, where the uh, underdog Langley Leda team came out on top, beating uh, Port Moody. And as you mentioned, the same teams as well. Yep. And so if we can get half that game, that'd be fantastic. And now free kick rewarded to Mendoza as he was taken down by Wonki. And now the rain's picked up once again. It's been an off and on day all day for, really f uh, for the rain. And we'll see how long it lasts. The clouds look pretty gray. Yeah, it's been like 20 minutes off, 20 minutes on. Free kick chance here. Played in the box and cleared, but not convincingly. And now. Oh, <laughs> good effort. Yeah, long range shot there. And a nice save by the keeper, even though it wasn't really needed, but still came across. And he'll have to take the he'll have to take the free kick, Keem. Wearing the uh, rugby helmet. Looking like a uh, Peter Czech, Petr Czech, excuse me out there. <laughs> the Czech Republic goalie. Nothing wrong with that really. The Chelsea goalie as we were talking about just earlier. Only goalie today that's sporting that hat actually, or the helmet. Yeah, he, he had some uh, head problems as a kid, I believe, or as, as a youth, and for safety precautions, obviously. Playing keeper in the EPL, it's pretty physical. Well, yeah, it lends itself to uh, a lot of contact. You're jumping. Uh, and Even it, landing, really. And landing, exactly. Yeah. Chance here oh. for Langley. That ball is cleared by Kamu. And Corny goes for a tumble that throw in for Langley.
Here's Perry. Trying to cut across, check. Now a chance for Corny. So that ball is played up. And Wonky doing his best. Now pump down the park. And an offside flag, I believe, is up. Yes, it is. Robson for Andrews. Now a chance here. And Cormu will let it slide. Play in the middle here. Now a chance for Port Moody. Oh, great. Nice through Good ball, ball. offside. Stays down. Here's Mendoza's oh. shot as he was checked. Mid swing there, but a great defensive play there. Looked like he just took too much time on that opportunity. Yeah. I don't, I don't think he saw the defender behind him. That was number eight, Braden Wilkenat. That came back. Great back check. And it took away the shot. Yeah, Nick of time. Clearly he didn't see Braden. I, I think he thought he had more time. Um, he didn't see the defender to his left behind him and it took a little he was a little too leisurely with that attempt uh, that'll be a foul against Langley a little push off there from the striker Colin Jones Now the middle of the pitch. Tadia now wide for Robson. Trying to find Tadia now. Perry has a chance. Oh. He's taken down. And they're going to call it. You got to call that. That was a pretty vicious tackle attempt. A free kick here for Langley. And looks like uh, Wolkenat will be taking it. In the box it goes and headed away for a corner. And again, we've seen how dangerous corners can be. One of the goals today have come from a corner, or in this game, pardon me. Oh. Cross in, a nice punch out there by the keeper. Oh! As Mendoza's taken down. And that will be a free kick rewarded as he's a little bit shaken up. Looks to be okay. That was a big hit nonetheless. Chance here for Lenny to push the pace and it's a roll up. Here's roll up on your side. Cross in the middle. And cleared away. And Mendoza now Andrews. Natadia. He'll play it back to his defender. Nice pinch there. Nice. And there's another man down. This one will go for Langley. As William Folstad won that battle. <sighs> As the rain really coming down hard here. Yeah, 
You're going to see he's going to try and aim behind that wall. You can see the tall defender is going for it. Out of play. Yeah, you can see he was aiming for uh, Wenke, and Wenke's definitely got a size advantage on most of these players, and also a lot of these defenders nowadays are trained offensively, um, you know, with technician uh, skills to, to head the ball. And that's why you see a lot of, uh, you know, the taller backs, the center backs, uh, up on corner kicks because they have that ability to, to leap and, and get their head on the ball. Dangerous play there by the keeper. Oh, wow. And that's going to result in a corner kick now. It's a miscommunication with him and his defender. Corny. And now uh, a corner kick for Langley after a really uh, poor play. Not very, yeah, not very intelligent on that one. I think it's just, again, a little too lackadaisical. He, um, not enough pace on that pass. And then it Oh, exactly. It gives it gives the you know the opposition enough time to really figure it out and, and try and intercept it. And they almost did, and basically resulted in a corner. Corner comes in and punched away by Ludicky. There's that ball will sail out of bounds and go for a Langley throw. Ball out of play, and Langley throw once again. Cross in and picked up by Luki as he will uh, lock it up top of the 18 and punt it up. Uh, the middle of the pitch, far side, checked. Oh, Gilroy, now Perry and Moon collided and a free kick rewarded to Perry. And it will be taken by one of the defenders here as everyone pushes up. Seems like the referees in this game are a lot less tolerant uh, uh, than the last two, I'd say. Not letting them get away with everything. You know, as we and you saw in the <laughs> last two games, you, you know you could get away with assault. In this game, it's uh, they're definitely not as lenient. Oh, chance and tight taken down, no call. And then Mendoza, oh, wow. who's been taking a beating today, wins another call. And now that they're saying that ball wasn't completely set, and we have to redo it on that quick uh, counter. But that Langley player was taken out of the box and some yells from the crowd, but referee said otherwise. Now Robson. Giving away to Perry. Roll up. Back and up the park. Again, here's Perry. And, and that'll go for a corner kick off Tadia. Not much of an opportunity there. Just put a little too much air on that corner.
Here's Andrews. And he's going to go for that through ball. There's Mendoza. Ball. He had a little slip up. And as the ball comes flying out. I think it's up there. It's on the roof I don't now. think it's coming back. <laughs> Quickly in. So the rain really coming down now. Profusely. Good job by Tate. Now here's Rolla. 28 minutes to go. In the first half? In the first half. So around halfway point of the first half. 1-1. One -one. Quick goal by Langley to start it. And then the penalty by Mendoza. That's an aggressive tackle, and he's going to yep. get a card. And there's a quick yellow card there. That one uh, will go to full stat. And there's no question on that one. That was pretty much caught none of the ball on that. That was all leg. And they'll call that 99 times out of 100. So now Corny will uh, play the ball up. Rolling out wide. Oh. A little trip up there. Looks like there's a little. Uh, and the referee just, he's calling him over. Ryan Gordon. And he'll get a little talking to from the referee. I think. No yellow yet, but I'm sure his next one might be. I think the issue is that the same two players going at each other. And that's what the concern is that it's going to escalate into something more. Oh. Chance there's Perry's brought down. Now a chance here in this 18. Here's Rolla. Out wide. Nice move there. Picked up, still on his feet. Now taken down. Rolla has it. On the far side. Nice slide tackle there to avoid a chance for Falstad. That was Moon. And now throwing for Langley. Moon and Fullstad really battling on that far sideline. Despite the weather, a nice crowd on for this premier final. Absolutely. Lots of umbrellas. Yeah, Beer Garden is packed. Like you said, Jake, standing room only, and you mean that. And then we got. Standing room here with the umbrellas in full force. Up top here by the bleachers and ground level on the fence. Chance there and it's out of play. Ball cleared out. Wonky heads that one ahead. Perry plays it all wide. And Moon. Fullstad. Kept in here by Langley. Cross in the middle. And it's headed away. Boarding on. A little heavy touch there. And taken down is Gordon. Exactly what he said. Heavy touch. He had uh, a little bit of room to move her in. Really just took a, a heavy foot to it and basically rolled himself out of a chance, an opportunity there. Chance now here for Lenley. Some miscommunication at the back, and now Robson. Calmly out of play. Wonky put out of play and he's shaking his head. Robson now throws it in quickly to boarding up. Atadia. <laughs> so 
to Lenza. Now the Andrews. Matadia. And He's on the side. run. The offside flag just comes up late oh. there for Robson. That was a very late offside call. Because I he, he did look over to his right and looked and he didn't see an offside, so he kept running. Evidently it was. And quickly up the pitch. Corny now looking for Salenza. Now Gordon for Salenza on the move, and that ball might just skip out of bounds. It will. He'll go for a Langley throw. 1-1 one, one still in this first half. <laughs> 32 minutes gone in this first half. And all square. Ball kept in and booted down to the Port Moody zone. The Gunners will retrieve, and here's Robson. Up the pitch, and it's uh, taken there by Volkant. The boarding on now to Salenza. And Salenza up, breakaway pass here. Chance to hit over the goalie, and that one's going to go wide, but a good idea by Gordon. To try and kick it over the goaltender who was being aggressive. Those chip shots are hard to come by, but they, they often do work when they're perfected. But again, it's just tough off of a bounce, off of a volley, to really judge a, an opportunity like that. And, and just, again, very difficult. Uh, and just, again, got a little too much underneath the ball, and that's why it sailed wide. Here's boarding on. Back to Cormu now, Robson. Andrews boarding on. And that goes out of play, and it will be a Langley throw. Chance in the corner now. Crossed in. Headed. Here's Rolla. Perry. Blocked in front. Now punched up and headed away, and here's Mendoza. Looking for some help, some support. Now a chance here, Volcan. Far side for Corny. Inside of 10 minutes now for this uh, conclusion of the first half. And a big boot there by Tadia that's going to stay in bounds. Out comes the goalkeeper, who hasn't really been busy all that much. No, he has not. That's um, Colton Keane. I mean, he really he had the one goal against, but... On, on a penalty kick, I mean... Tough to... <laughs> you can't really fault, fault him for that. And the penalty kick wasn't cause it wasn't his fault to begin with. It was a trip by a defender. Yeah, and also he did guess right, as, as you mentioned. I think it, it's just a situation of... Um, he's been available and he's been, you know, stand out good when he needs to be. Uh, he just hasn't had to. Um, he hasn't had to be on his game uh, necessarily that much this game. So I'll make that nice uh, diving save when it didn't really mean much on that blown whistle. But he did. So we, with the skill level we've seen. He got, he got some style points for that one. I mean, right now it's the 35th minute, and you haven't seen a lot of uh, a lot of shots go his way, or any way, really, for that matter. Yeah, e even um, the goalkeeper for uh, Port Moody, uh, Lorenko, 
I mean, the goal is a pinball in front that really just, you know, think goes away. But besides that, no real uh, threats on net. Like true threats on that from either side. Volokan, and that ball is going to be out of bounds. And now Robson. Here's Borning on. Ooh, putting on a little tug. It's pretty Referee aggressive. Referee lets <laughs> it play. Here's Rolla. And now across for a full step. Finds Keen. And he'll bend that in. And a good job there by Salenza to make sure that ball doesn't get by. So here's Fulstad, quick throw in. Here's Keem now. Left foot cross. As the rain is slowing up. Oh. And that shot well wide. And will it stay in bounds? It will stay inside the park. Now, <laughs> Off the top of the uh, fence there. That one was headed for the for the ocean on that one. I had a little too much juice on that. Yeah, really high fence here behind the nets as they should be. Yeah, again though, it's just it's so hard to to volley it at, and and you know volley it not just with power with accuracy. And uh, we've seen a lot of guys struggle with that today. And the pros make it look so easy. And they do and, and even sometimes the pros have those shanks where they look like they look silly, but it truly is a tough shot to make and uh, no doubt about it. Tough to perfect. But that's why they're the pros, absolutely. Because yeah. they can do that, and, and they've been able to do that since they were about 14 years old. Here's Perry. He's checked in a good clearance there. And now Robson being chased down by Gilroy. The ball on the near side. Thrown in. Picked up by boarding on. That's out of play, and it'll be uh, Port Moody throw once again. So final five minutes of this half. Tadia's pass and that goes wide. I think his coach wanted him to actually just take that shot, take that opportunity, and he decided to try and through ball it. And he just, again, a little too much and ends up being a goal kick. Yep, five minutes ago in this first half, and it's still a 1 1 draw. Here's Gilroy. Rolla, trying to find Gilroy, chested down. A little give and go with Rolla, here's Gilroy. Crossed in the middle, and caught by Lorenko. Had to be sure of it though. And uh, not a good one. <laughs> a hook there from Lorenko on the bounce kick, the drop kick, excuse me. A lot of tugging I've noticed. Uh, yeah, the foot got the, the foot got kind of mixed up there. Yeah, just a, lo a lot of jersey grabbing and a lot of it's an it's an aggressive. Uh, like these teams don't seem to like each other all that much. And after this game, they probably won't like each other anymore. His roll up. cut off by Robinson. Robson, excuse me, still with it, Robson. Now Corny will uh, get out of play, and a nice save by the tree there to keep it uh, in the park.
Got a chance here, Gilroy and Robson going at it. And that shot goes wide. Headed away, and now Perry. Chance here for Andrews. Slowed up by that ball. And then taken down, here's roll up. And now Atadia plays it down low for boarding on. And he's gonna get there, but is he gonna be able to cross it? Oh. No, and it's gonna be a throw in. Good effort. Well, it's going to go Langley way that oh, last wow. touch off uh, boarding on it seems. <laughs> now Salenza. Oh, bad touch. Gets it right back though. Pass on the flank here for Rolla. His cross in. Taken out now. Andrews will come in and now, as well as Atadia, all over the pitch here for Port Moody. Here's Andrews. Mendoza couldn't get the handle. Cross in, headed away there, and Port Moody comes out with the break. Long ball. Very advantageous chance. Yeah. From 20 to the 20, basically. Andrews now, Italia. Robson. Salenza so having problems now, Andrews. Looking through that, for that lob over the top. And they might get it. Chance there now. Corny. And that shot will roll wide. This first half is uh, coming to a conclusion here. <laughs> Just approaching the 45 minute mark, and then maybe a minute or two of extra time. And that'll be our half. Andrews looking for Mendoza, he couldn't quite find him. And now Andrews is tripped up. And that'll do it for the half, so 45 gone and one goal apiece. He Langley that had scored in the opening seconds, really, off a pinball corner kick in the six yard box that found in the back of the net. And Port Moody Gunners found the back of the net on a penalty kick by Mendoza. About 10 minutes after that. So after a half, it's United 1, Gunners 1. And we'll check in at 50. We're back for the second half. Score is 1-1 one, one right now. Hoping for an exciting final 45 to this very long day of soccer. It's four matches in succession. Been a, uh, it's been a fun one, it's been a long one. And we're in the final 45 here for this premier final between Port Moody and Langley. A lot of jousting going on in that corner. Uh, play in the corner shot, side of the net. Oh, <laughs> the crowd thought it was in and just went off the side of the net. That was uh, Mendoza. 
the goal scorer from the first half. Probably the fastest paced half of, of soccer we've seen so far in today. In the you know, four matches we've seen, me and Gino have been here since 8 in the morning with, along with our crew, VBN. So they were here setting up at 7 o'clock uh, in the they're morning. They're, <laughs> they're the troopers. They're the real, uh, the real talent behind uh, the project here. They uh, were on the road at 6 a.m. from Chilliwack, got here at 7 o'clock and began setting up to host this final championship Saturday online and live feed in the beer garden. And then we just cruised in along and do our thing, but they're really uh, working hard at it. Cameramen, producer, directors, graphics, everybody behind the scenes. All in one trailer, which is kind of amazing. Yeah, they got that mobile trailer that's <laughs> state of the art really. It's quite impressive. Here's boarding on the flex out of Salenza now. Recently subbed in Costa for Langley, drops it back. And now crossed in chance for uh, Rolla No Good. Back here for uh, Fullstad. He plays it across for Langley now Rolla. Again, crossed in the middle and headed away. Now Atadia has it. Very physical game. Just kind of accentuated on that play. A lot of jostling going along, elbows high, <laughs> and uh, it's a fun kind of soccer to watch, that's for sure. Absolutely. Uh, here's Rolla with some space. Andrews is closing the gap. Ball comes to Costa, he couldn't yeah. handle it. That was a fortuitous bounce right onto his foot and just couldn't make good with it. Here's Rolla once again, crossing the box. That one looks a bit deep. Uh, it'll go out of play, it'll go for a goal kick for Ludeke. Here's Rolla. That's crossed in the middle. And out of play. So a goal kick for Ludeke. Headed, and they're saying uh, play on. Oh, fair challenge there, and it's going to go for Port Moody. Now he's going to get a talking to. That's oh, that's a oh, sorry, I thought I saw a red. It was that's just a whistle. That's Ballard. <laughs> yeah, he's got a red whistle. <laughs> be mistaken there. Can't have a red whistle. Paul Ballard, one being uh, talked to, just came in. Here the cleats collide there. Rough sound. Once Kinda again. The pace has been slowed with uh, a couple whistles here. Yeah, these stoppages. So a free kick here for Port Moody with reasonable distance. Thirty yards out. It'll be boarding on set up to take it, as well as Saliza and boarding on chips it in, and that's headed away nicely. 
by the defender now. Here's Robson. Andrew trying to chip it across, handball, no call. Play continues now, a little three on one ensuing here. Here's Costa. Oh. And he just got tangled up there and he, he had his man Keem on a oh. two on one. A lot of physicality and right here, you can see. Offering a warning, one warning and that's it. Well you have Langley arguing about the foul and then you have Plumody angling excuse me, um, arguing that should have been a yellow card, so opposite the ends of the spectrum here. And basically so nobody seems happy with uh, the officiating. Yeah. But what else, you know, what makes that different than any other game? I don't yeah. think anyone's ever content with the officiating, 100%. Yeah, that was in the lose-lose situation. And now boarding on, talking to the referee a little bit. Telling him, asking him for his uh, mailing address for Christmas, I think. <laughs> Probably. That's exactly what he's doing. Chance here for Langley. Cuts inside. That was a great crossover. Tried a little give, yeah. But just not. They weren't on the same page, and the ball goes out for a goal kick. But a good play there by Tyson Keem that tried to make something happen. But Ballard wasn't on the same page, and all for naught. Up by Ludicky. Quickly headed now. Here's Costa. Robson on the head. Now out of it. Head on the head. Silenza. Here's boarding on. Quickly on the near side to Gordon. Gordon's ball crossing in front. And a good job by the tender. Come out and challenge that as Mendoza was giving chase. It's a nice aggression there from Keem. Nice punt off the park. Costa picks it up. Here's Costa with the shot. And that is well wide and a bit too high for anyone's liking. Eight minutes gone in the second half and we're still nodded at ones here from those early goals in the first half. Ball comes back down to Ludicky. He corrals that. Some passing at the back, and now they'll give to Salenza. Boarding on. There's Robson. For Andrews. Andrews has a beat on that. He'll slow things down. Cuts inside. Has a Tadia. Left foot shot. Close. Goes wide right. But the right idea there, Andrews to Atadia. What a nice set play. That goes wide right with some nice velocity on that kick. They're smelling the net. Hungry like sharks, they want to finish this thing off. Don't leave it to chance. Don't leave it to a shootout. Don't leave it to an overtime. You know, this is the potentially the final half of your year. Leave it all on the field and try and get that W. Here's Rolla. Slowing things down, now plays it out wide. Gets the return pass. Nice little crisscross, now left footed cross in and oh, great headed defender. away there. Smart, intelligent defending. And now Salenza. He was looking for Gordon. And right back going down Langley at that ball deflected off. It'll be a throw for Langley. Quickly for Rolla. Oh! That ball sold oh. right through, tipped off a shin. Costa was there, but Side a little bit flat footed, I think, and he didn't have enough time to get on that. Because when he saw it immediately, you could tell he was kind of head in his hands. You know, he knew that that was an opportunity that could have resulted in a goal, but it's the way it goes sometimes. In comes the corner, headed in, and that goes oh. wide right. Close again. This has probably been the most entertaining game out of all of them. I mean, you're seeing 
chances at one end then the opposite end and both teams both you know smelling the blood they want to win and they're showing everybody here that they want to win put it up by Luki. to be Lorenko. Yeah, a little bit of an embellishment. Ah. It's tough to say from up here, but uh, yeah, it looked a little. It went down quite easily. I don't know the way. Some, it, I uh, think the way we saw it was he he kind of grabbed the opposing player's hand, and then did like a somersault. So I think it was a little bit of a an exaggeration on what actually happened. And that's usually what gets um, soccer haters riled up is yeah. those type of plays that really don't need to, are necessary in the game. I mean, the reality- But they still happen. And but the reality is it's not, you know, people will say that, but there's embellishing in every sport. Of course. Uh, it's just, it's the, the way it is that there's embellishing in, in, in football, like American football, hockey, baseball even sometimes. So it's, it's uh, Maybe it's a little bit more prevalent in soccer, but well, I think it's just it's like it's a stigma. So <laughs> a lot of people have that that mindset that it's the only sport that's like that. I think because it kind of became famous in soccer first. Yeah, it's always stuck with it, right? So true, true, true. I mean, every sport's gonna have it's part of gamesmanship, right? It is. You want the advantage, so play to your strength. If you're gonna yeah. embellish a call, you're gonna embellish a call. Yeah. Cross in, that goes off the chest. Now a chance here, roll a shot. That's blocked in front. They, I think they were complaining that it could have been a handball. Here comes Gordon with some speed. Out wide for Andrews. And Robson now. And check, but it'll be a pull more throw. Good chance here. Chance here for Gordon. Crosses it in. Ooh. Andrews is there now. Mendoza scissor kick shot and he fanned on it. Just and is corralled by the keeper. Just slipped up a little bit. Here's Italia, middle of the park for Robson. Flicked on by Andrews and now Wadiki. Good job there by Mendoza to win that throw in. They're calling a little bit of <laughs> gamesmanship there as the ball is being rolled to. Um, player who was going to do the throne in you saw a player from uh, <laughs> Langley just kick it out of the way yeah that was uh Her Volacant yeah you heard a couple of groans uh from both sidelines they're like like really <laughs> <laughs> here's Salenza for Italia now boarding on oh, nice. a wide for Andrews and the offside wow. flag goes up once again it looked like a good lead ball he was just a hair offside it seems yeah that's two in a row that Andrews has been offside for it's tougher than people think, especially the way de uh, defenders are taught to play. They're taught to play an offside trap. They want guys to step offside because it just eliminates an opportunity altogether and it eliminates a possession altogether. And it's a team effort too. Like the entire back line has to step up mm -hmm. together because if one guy doesn't step up, then it's then it's, 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 a it's, it's worse. <laughs> it's worse. Cross comes in and kept in, but the header goes wide. Good attempt, though. Here's Costa on the right wing, far side. He'll play it back. Crossed in, looking for a man. 
It's played out. Pollard now. Back for. Recently subbed in number four. Wahid. Excuse me. Number four, uh, Falstad. Wrong roster is there. Quick throw in. Flicked on by Salenza. Intended for Lendoza. That one gets out of bounds. Out of play. And again, a throw in. As we've got just under half an hour left in this second half. Still tied up at once. Looking for that go-ahead goal from either team. Now here's a chance for a boarding on. Andrews will pick it up. Far side, Andrews. Plays it back to Robson. Here's Costa. Nice lead pass looking for Rola. He's got it. Plays it back. Numbers coming now. Oh. Chance in tight. Overran that chance. Heavy stepping. Was Jones. Yep. And now a breakaway chance for Vaughn Andrews, who's on side. Trying to save that ball from going out, and he can't. That lead pass is a bit too heavy for Andrews. But boy, he had space. Both teams are really trying to stretch the field. It's McAllister puts that ball out. It's a different, uh, different kind of game than that we've seen uh, previously. A lot of uh, long balls and stretch balls, as opposed to, uh, you know, short little dink and dunk passes. I guess you could say. Instead of five to ten yard passes, we're seeing thirty to forty yard passes yeah, across the field, up the field, wherever. Yeah, they're playing North American soccer. Yeah, they're playing very, very aggressive, and I like that. And that's why you're seeing chances at both ends, because both teams are letting up a little bit defensively. Uh, throw in by Robson. Retrieved by Volkanat and back to the keeper. Keen. Costa's header, nice save there by Lorenko. As uh, Costa, the tallest man up front there, had his chance, and Lorenco was there positionally to make the save. Uh, here's Rola. As Langley plays some positional play. Tough check there now. Taya for boarding yon. Little chip pass in there for Robson. And he comes, trying to get the pass across. Almost got it there, but a good defensive play from the back end of Langley to prevent that scoring chance. They're going to get another quick throw here now, Robson. Yeah, another opportunity here. See if they can have some sustained momentum in this end. Costa. And they're going to go for the deep through ball. On the run was Ballard. And uh, he's won a throw. No. Good effort. Looks like that period of rain has uh, at least flown over temporarily as we have the last bit of sunlight of the day. Headed away. Oh. Good play there. To win back the ball was Gordon. And now Salenza with some time for Mendoza. Tadia. 
Out wide for Robson. Now Andrews. In tight and kept by the keeper. Line drive and Mendoza trying to flick it on, having a tough time. There's a ball comes backwards. Now Andrews trying to settle. Oh, a good job there to get the ball. Was a defender looking at tons of collisions here. Here's Gordon now lead pass here. Fullstad crosses it in. And roll is shot, taken, no problem there by Lorenko. Entering the halfway point of this second half. 23 minutes to go, roughly. Nice pass here, looking for Costa. That was chipped in. And broken up. Ballard trying to get a foot on that. He can't, now Rolla for Ballard. Here's Ballard. Taken down, a little bit of an embellishment, but they'll give him the call. Basically a centimeter outside the box. Could have been deadly. As uh, Salenza took him down. And it'll be a free kick for Langley. In a very lethal position. Now let's see if they can deliver on this one. The set pieces today have been pretty well, uh, pretty good. I mean, we've seen, I'd say, about half the goals today have come from set pieces. So it's going to be intriguing to see if that is something that can break this deadlock. For the free kick, upcoming here. We'll be on the left foot. In tight. And they're saying they're handball. Wanting, they're <laughs> looking for a handball, not going to get it. Right back in. And now Gordon has it for Port Moody. Trying to beat his man, but a good job there. Good speed. Yeah, by the defender, Fulstad. And the keeper plays it back up the park. Header from Andrews looking for Mendoza, almost had a step there. A good leg kick. Here's boarding on. Ah, oh. bad touch. Yeah, I was looking for Andrews on the go there. Looks like we're gonna have a sub. Yes, we will. And it looks like it's going to be Andrews coming out. Nope. nope. It's going to be Salenza. So Andrew Salenza checks out. And coming in is going to be Marcos Tedoro da Silva. Who checks in. To Doro da Silva. And looks like he'll be playing in the middle of the park here. Shot from distance. Ooh. And handled by Lorenko. I think when you take one of those shots, your, your real intention is to get a rebound. Get a rebound or something. Because you know you're not going to score. You just want to 
put as much uh, power behind that shot and hopefully bounce yeah. off the chest or yeah. a wicked bounce that could that could change the momentum of the ball. I think there's going to be a card coming up. Yep. Yeah, yellow card for Colin Jones as he uh, got a little bit too much cleat on Atadia. And he had that one warning earlier, and yeah. they take that seriously. And that tackle is right in front of the referee's eyes, so, I mean, there's no hiding behind that one. Although, essentially, a yellow card really is meaningless unless you get a, a second because th it won't carry over to next season, so... Um, as long as he stays okay. <laughs> Absolutely. But the thing is, let's just say hypothetically he does get that extra yellow. You're playing with, oh, he almost had it. Just a little wide, but hypothetically he does get that other yellow. You're playing a man down in overtime if it goes to overtime. Yeah. Or for the, you know, the last 15 minutes or so of this half. So pretty tough. And now a second substitution for Port Moody. Out comes Ryan Moon. And checking in, looks like it's going to be a left back. It's going to be number number four. Don't have him on the roster here. No, there it is. Mujandi. Wahid Mujandi checking in. So Moon out and Mujandi in with uh, 20 to go in this final half. A wide for Ballard. Robson uh, misjudged that, but he did a good job of recovering. Ball kept in. Here's Langley with some pressure. Crossed in front, looking for Costa. Still can't get the ball out. And now settled down. As Mujandi's pass cut off. Big throw for Mendoza. That ball was never in, I don't even think. No, it wasn't. Bounced out of bounds before it even touched the ground. Good ball movement by Langley. And that's a handball. Yeah, they're going to call it. Just outside just the box. Just outside the box. Very lucky. Very but it will be a great A scoring chance here for Langley. Look at that. At the 18 and a half yard line, that handball occurred. You with gotta, you gotta with feel 15 minutes to go in this second half, this could do it. And you got to feel bad with... Uh, the way a handball happens, it's not really, it's not an intentional thing, it's instinctual. You want to stop uh, the ball's progression, and sometimes you just. Six man wall set up here for Port Moody. And it's going to be taken here on the left foot, and that Ooh. one Too much. Hooked, hooked wide on the left foot there by Tyson Keem, and uh, scoring chance goes for naught as that ball didn't even leave the turf. So 15 to go in the second half, still tied up at one. And if it remains this way, we'll see, like we did in the last game, a 30-minute overtime period, followed by a potential penalty shootout. Pass in for Costa a bit too uh, far ahead. Header one there. And now boarding on. We'll lay it back. Good job there by Italia. And coughed up in the middle of the park. Jones now. Pushes it off to the far side. For Volcant. Here's Raleigh. Now Volcan on the run with some space, crossed in front, and that's headed away for a corner kick. 
And if you're Langley, you're going to take a corner kick every time at this point. The amount of chances that have come off of set pieces, as we mentioned, a lot amount of goals that have come off of set pieces, especially corners, have been uh, pretty high today, pretty prevalent. So another grade-A chance for Langley. Corner swung in and off the head of a defender, kept in. Chance by Costa, flicked on. Wanaki scores! <laughs> the defender, as he comes to the crowd and lifts his shirt and kisses the logo. Well, we are talking about defenders and how they have to be skilled uh, on the offensive uh, end of the, of the field as well. And you can see why, because such a big target and he's right there and he's gonna make every uh, every chance count and what a job by Wadaki as you mentioned. Two ones the score and let's see if they can hold it. Yeah, well they have roughly 15 minutes to do so. As now Port Moody is on the ropes. We saw Langley take care of business in the other 21 championship and if things remain the same, they'll do so in the Premier Championship as well, sweeping this Port Moody. It'll be a Langley sweep. Langley sweep. If uh, this holds, let me see a foul called against Port Moody there. In enemy territory, as you mentioned, against the home team. The FVSL final here. And then we see a... Uh, it's Tyson Keem just a little favoring his, uh, his left boot. So a free kick up, free kick up coming here for Langley, as Keem is forced to come off and back on is Perry, who is subbed off at half and he's back on looking fresh. Cross in front, and it's cleared by Port Moody to half. Once again, they're going to take their time. No need to rush. Here's Costa. Chance oh. here. Plays it out wide for Perry. Cross in front. Oh. And that's headed out. It'll stay in bounds. They'll roll it there. He puts it in the box, and that's cleared out. But right back in by Jones. Now Costa shields. Kind of turn. For Perry, Perry shot. Handball. And he's waving it off. That was a definite handball, I think. Uh, they got away with one. And there's a foul on Jones. He's got to be careful. He's already got the yellow. You don't want to play down a man with the last 10 minutes of the game. There's Corny. Tadia. Good effort there to get the ball to Robson. Here's Robson. Looking for Andrews, it was cut off by the defender. And now roll up. And uh, Ballard puts it out of bounds as Tadia is a little bit shaken up in the middle of the park there. It looks to be a uh, Maybe a left knee. Looked like he was cramping up originally. So this is going to add a little bit of time to the stoppage time, and they're going to get a couple of substitutions going their way. Yeah, 35 minutes into this game, or into this half. Another 10, and then. I'd say two or three minutes of stoppage. You never cramped either. You didn't run yet. Yeah. 
Yeah, Taddy is down and he's uh, talking to the trainer there. Looks to be okay, just a little sip of water. Very long stoppage time, or pardon me, a very long uh, break. Longest one of the day. That'll add a solid minute, two minutes to uh, stoppage time, you'd have to think. Chance for Costa here. Tripping over his feet, and Robson picks it up. That's coughed up at center. Given away now, here's Costa once again. Crossed in front and picked up by Lorenko. Big boot by Lorenko. Oh. Couple of aggressive slides towards the sideline. Throwing at center here. That's a handball for sure. <laughs> and <Wow>. he waves <laughs> it off. <laughs> that was definitely a handball. Perry lost that handle. Maybe it's the angle that we're sitting. Uh, standing well, I, at. I mean, the player saw it too, but the referee just waved it off, and I think he'll take his on goals of the game. Yeah. Chance for Robson here, making a run, centered in front, looking for a head, and that's good. What a header there by the sub to Doyle da Silva. And it's 2-2 here late in the second half. Great job by the Silva, as you mentioned. Able to bury it in that back corner and just standing right where he needs to be, right at the corner of the box and able to find the back of the net and it's 2-2. We're back underway here, 2-2 two, two now. It's seven minutes to go in regular time and then we'll need a couple minutes of stoppage and then potentially another overtime. Good play there by Defender now a chance here for Perry. Plays it for Ballard. Crossed in and that will go for a throw. Langley's way. Thrown into Costa. Shielding it. And offside flag is oh. up. Close. Here's Italia. Heavy footed. Got about five minutes of normal time and then I would say three minutes of stoppage. We had quite a long break early on in the half.
Had it back to the keeper, and that was a little dangerous there, but Lorenko picked it up. And that one's out of play. The jousting here. Yeah, there's now Robson for Andrews. And a foul on Robson. He's going to get a talking to. That's Volcant and the yellow Lots card. Of yellow. Lots of yellows today. And again, obviously, you don't want to be down a man uh, in the overtime periods. And right now, the aggression is just a little too high on Langley's part. I, said, I think they have three yellow cards on their team, so. Three take separate, it, Yeah, obviously three separate people. And just take it down a notch. Looks like there's going to be a substitution of some sort. Coming up short enough. That's going to be uh, for Langley. Deep ball here for Port Moody. Flicked on, chance in front, and the volley goes over the net. That could have been the decider. Off the foot of Gordon. Looked like he tried to kind of finesse it to the other end, and it was close, but just a little too high. Flicked on, now chances for Langley. And they've won themselves a throw in. In the last five minutes here, tied up at twos. Ball crossed in. And that was and offside. A foul. Oh, offside, excuse me. Thrown in by Andrews. Here's Mendoza. Now Rolla with it. Nice little chip there, kept in nicely. By Gilroy. Now Rolla. Crossed in the box. And a penalty shot's coming. Oh no, it's gonna be a dive. It's gonna be a dive on Costa. We thought it, the crowd went nuts but it's on Costa for the dive. You're hearing a couple of interesting uh, chatter from the fans and from... Uh, he got me, I thought it was a penalty shot, but so referee wasn't fooled and a yellow card. You can't blame him for trying in the last minutes of the, uh, of the game. Um, looks like we are into stoppage time. There's another argument. Yeah, th there's an intentional <laughs> handball that wasn't seen. Yeah. This avoids the uh, throw in, but. And that's it. No, oh. he's making a redo it. Just trying to find every way to slow this game down. <laughs> Make it go on forever. It's a free kick, actually, it looks like. There'll be a couple minutes of stoppage time, I presume. Yeah, you'd have to think there was 
long stoppage halfway through uh, the half. Seemed like a two minute stoppage uh, at that point. Mendoza settles. Oh, they're gonna have a chance, chance here. Here's Mendoza, his shot sails wide. A laser from Mendoza, the left foot. And it sails high and wide. The crowd was holding their breath on that one. A very pro Port Moody, of course, faithful here. Want to see that one going for a buzzer beater. Here's Costa. Now I'll give the speedster on the run there. Good job by. They're saying he was. Yeah, they Lorenzo were just that. kept his ball. Uh, the ball, excuse me, inside the box. Very close to that being a handball and free kick right there. Yeah. As that ball is rolling Looking down. down at the clock. Yeah. He's getting ready to blow the whistle, we'll see. Yeah, surely soon now. Costa leaves it. It's Perry. Costa. <laughs> now the far side, and that might do it. Referee checking his clock, punted back up the field. Nice settle there. They're going to call and it. And a foul. Maybe one last chance here in regulation to end it if you're Port Moody. Everyone playing up here. Might be the last uh, play of regulation. Deep in the box, headed, chance in tight, and a good job by the goaltender. Yeah, That'll do go. it for regulation. So we're headed to an extra 30, like before. Half an hour of overtime, followed by a potential penalty shootout to decide the FESL Premier Division Championship. Gunners United. And off the bat, a quick throw in for Langley, a nice quick pace here. Taken away. Here's Andrews. The keeper out to play that one. As that wasn't getting away from Ryan Gordon. Up the park. So two fifteens. Perry and boarding on going at it now. That chance. Settled down by Mujandi. And now up once again, just a bit too far to the reach of Gordon. Quick throw in. For full stat, and now played back, and back to the keeper. Tested down by the goal scorer, the second one, Todario da Silva. Now crossed it. Here's Costa. 
trying to turn and shoot. Lost the handle and Olivia throw in for Langley in this first overtime. Once again, a throw in for Langley. Oof. That is going to hurt. This play continues with a kick. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if the cleat or the ball got him. But you heard the, the oomph sound. That's number 19, Kevin coming out. And he's just trying to catch his breath after that. Did not sound pleasant. Lorraine go up the pitch. And here's boarding on. Now Perry for Langley. Ujandi. Cut off by Perry. Out of the middle of the park. Oh. Possession playing. Shot on oh. that, that's good. <laughs> Left foot. One skipper by Tyson Keem. That silenced this Port Moody crowd. And they've st striked first here in overtime. The left foot of Keem. And good on the referee to let the possession continue. Because you want to call a foul. Let possession continue. And it results in a goal for Langley. Now the 3 2 lead. Exactly. And if he didn't, if he did stop it, we all know what the result would have been. It wouldn't have been a goal. But also, good job keeping going and, and not stopping, you know, just because you feel a little contact. He just powered through. And like you said, opposite foot. Opposite corner, and that's exciting. And I love watching uh, guys score on a rush like that rather than just, you know, scoring off a rebound, scoring in full speed, full motion. It's exciting. Yeah, low corner, really great shot. Tough of the keeper to save that as there's 10 minutes to go in this first overtime. Now headed, that's good too. That time is Devin Gilroy. And it's 4-2 Langley. Good job sticking through it for uh, Gilroy. Able to jump, get the header, and just get it over. Good body position by him. And right now you're seeing a full-scale attack by Langley. And Langley just doing what they need to do. Absolutely uh, outstanding start to this to half. Uh, really, it seemed like, you know, it took them 90 minutes to score two full goals, uh, two, four, uh, two goals, pardon me. And now in uh, the span of about five minutes, they have two, so exciting stuff. And just to um, confirm if you were wondering, full overtime is still played. It is not goal by half, so it's still going to be 30 full minutes of overtime, regardless of score line. So Port Moody has roughly 25 minutes to answer two goals to force penalties. And that's not an easy task, but... Saying that, Langley did score two goals in uh, under five minutes, so it can be done. Will it be done is another story. It's Perry's cross deflected out of play by Gordon. And a mountain to climb now for Port Moody. Jandy throwing it in. As the entire game, Port Moody's been coming from behind and they'll have to do that once again here in overtime. They're down 1-0, then tied it up. Down 2-1, then tied it up. 
and now find themselves down 4-2 in overtime. And we'll need more of that comeback magic to uh, extend this one to penalties. Yeah, like you said, eight minutes to go roughly. Not a lot of time in this half, and then obviously they'll have the next uh, 15 to try and do something. A chance here though, as Mendoza and Borning on both lined up behind this free kick. It's Mendoza oh, off the bar. Water. And was it tipped? No, referee says no. But a nice shot from Mendoza there. Off the bar and out. On the far side, nice battle ensuing there. And now a foul called against Port Moody. And again, a foul called against the Gunners. Free kick in, blocked by Andrews. Once again, a chance here off the left foot. Oh, Nice little fake there. Shot blocked. Gordon plays it down. And they'll go for a corner kick. As last touch off the leg of Robson. And a substitution here looks like for Port Moody. Coming out. Well, we're waiting, and now we're going to see come out. Vaughn Andrews will exit the game. And to replace him. Waiting to get that number check. Looks like number six. Number five. Paul... Neveros in, oh, batted close. by the goalkeeper and cleared. No one up front though. Five minutes to go in this half. And Keem will boot that ball up the pit. Now a chance on the break here. Good poise though from the defender now, Robson. Boarding on now going across. And a foul committed by Gordon. Offside oh. flag, his raise. Ah, close. Uh, he was offside from our angle. We had a good angle on it. He was offside. It's a little bit of a late uh, raise of the flag. Could have been 5-2, though, if that breakaway uh, materialized. Yeah, and that would have probably been the nail in the coffin. I mean, still, it, it seems like you know very, very tough odds for um, Port Moody to, to face, scoring two goals. and. Basically, 15 minutes. Not even now. It's probably about 12 minutes. So, no, it's still the first half. We're still in the first half. Sorry, the f another 15. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So, not a lot of time um, to go against. And and for Langley, you got to feel pretty confident, but don't be overconfident because you saw. Um, yeah, how I mean, quickly. Port Moody almost. I mean, hit the crossbar under five minutes ago. So, anything can happen at any moment.
Little drop heel there. Now boarding you on. Chip in the box and the keeper will take care of that. As we are headed toward the uh, mini halftime of OT. Two minutes to go in this first overtime. Long range shot, high sails. If there's three nets stacked on top of each other, that would have been a good one, but just not uh, not as they. Boarding on who's checked by Gordon. Shot, nice save by Lorenko. Rebound. Oh, and that sails wide. Another standing substitution here for Langley. Let's roll it back in. Just a step in front of him. Good attempt. I don't anticipate much stoppage time. No, not not much, if any. Chance here. Here's Mendoza, that left foot shot. Nice save, no rebound from the keeper. Colton Keane, who's been getting heckled by the Port Moody fans on the far side there. But doing a good job of zoning them out. And uh, if things stand the way they are, he'll have the last laugh. You know if they switch ends in the, in the overtime period? Uh, I believe they do. So good for him. He'll be in the opposite end. He won't have to deal with... Uh, Anymore. The hazing, yeah. PMFC, Port Moody Football Club fans. He's boarding on, looking for a taddy that's coughed up. Back come Langley. In the box and caught by Lorenko. Referee taking a look at his watch. Yeah, surely he'll blow it at 15 minutes. I don't see him giving much extra time. If any, like, there's no reason to really give any extra time in this 15. Chested by Mujandi, and that'll be a Langley. Uh, excuse me, Port Moody throw. And, and that'll do it for the first half. So they will swap ends, but the referee does say stay on the pitch. Not enough time to. Maybe a maybe a one minute water break. Yeah. No, he's he's pushing him off. He's telling the coaches to get back on the sidelines. Yeah. No time for game planning or adjustments. Especially considering uh, the game before this went to overtime as well. So there are other games that still need to be played. And it's, you know, it's 7-10 right now. Two more games. Two more games to be played, yeah. So they won't be, um, they won't be broadcast. But if you're a fan watching online or 
want to come down. There's two more matches to be played for championships. We've been here since 8 in the morning doing our, our thing, and it's going to come to a conclusion in the next 15. Some great soccer play today. Four champions crowned. Soon to be four. Potentially two Langley champions. You know, that's a, that's a big deal. Good for the Langley program. Also good for the Port Moody program for being in two final games. And it would be quite something if in front of the home crowd they could tie it or even, you know, get that overtime lead and win. But that's still pretty advantageous at this point. There's still much left to be desired as the score is 4-2. Saw the last 15 here. And barring two from Langley, we will not be seeing penalties. But we did see Langley pop in two quick ones in the first OT, so. In under five minutes, I mean, it could happen. Under two minutes, I think. Yeah, under two minutes, so. This bang, bang, and here's Mendoza. Atadia, now Robson. Play in the box, and that is cleared. It'll go for a throw. Flicked on Mendoza, trying to get a beat on that. Oh. And a foul against Mendoza. I think it might have been a handball, or is it maybe an elbow uh, to the face of, of the Italian? I don't know. A little bit too aggressive on his end. And again, a foul against uh, Port Moody. It'll be a Langley free kick within range of a potential uh, lob cross. As the crowd sings Sweet Caroline. <laughs> yep. One of those songs that whenever it's on, there's always going to be someone who's going to start to sing it, and pretty soon a crowd's going to get involved in the song. Chance here to make it 5-2, but saved by Lorenko. The damage may be done, though. Chance here for Langley once again on the break. Dished off for Perry. Looking for Gordon flicked on, but defender is there. And smartly out of play by the Langley defender. Ball goes all the way down. As things uh, looking, feeling bleak here for Port Moody to mount a comeback. They need two goals in the next 13 and change.
And currently it's with Langley the ball. That ball's gonna skid out of bounds. Throw in Langley. With space to this chance blocked. Langley continue to press here. No really need to, but Tyson Keem in for Gordon. Gordon shot. Nice save. The rebound is good. That's the clincher. That's the if finisher. If it wasn't already. That's the finisher. Well, with 10 minutes to go, three goals. Tough to come by. Nice save by Lorenko on the first one there, but the rebound just no chance really. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of defenders in, his, in, in near him. Impressive display by Langley. Impressive display of offense. Five goals against the, you know, an another championship caliber team in Port Moody. Um, nothing to scoff at. Certainly a great game uh, by Langley. This one all but over now. It's all done but the crying. 5-2 Langley in this double overtime. Well, second half of the overtime, excuse me. It's amazing how in 90 minutes a team can score two goals and then in the span of... 20 <laughs> they can pop in three it makes you wonder why they couldn't score in regulation uh you know when you score three goals in basically 15 minutes pretty impressive stuff after especially it, it took you 20 minutes or sorry 90 minutes to score two lead pass there for Wajandi cut off and here's perry being checked Now Gordon, the recent goal scorer for Keese. And now a two on one here for Langley. That shot oh. just wide. <laughs> oh boy, that could have made it really bad. Great attempt though. Well worth it. And how often do you see a uh, 5-2 victory in overtime? Never, <laughs> honestly. It's uh, very uncommon. Often you'll see a goal and then that's it. And Actually, for the most part, sometimes you, ball, don't, yeah. you don't even see a goal. You'll just you know, yeah. shoot out. Uh, that's offside. Almost 7.30. Almost at the 10 minute mark and. Very methodical pace by Langley. Here's Robson playing it back. 
And you've got to figure out a way to get the ball up the, the field if you're uh, Port Moody. Because obviously this is not going to help very much uh, having it in your own end. Another chance, and a shot. Oh. Again, just goes wide. And at this this point, juncture in the game, it's just going through the motions now and letting the clock do its thing. I think both teams know the outcome of this game by now. Still got to play it out, though. Handball, I think. Nope. Nice save. <laughs> Yeah, Langley not really uh, taking a foot off the gas. They want six. Yeah, they haven't given up. and <laughs> I don't know if they want six, but they just don't want any more against them. Don't want to leave anything to chance at this point. Seeing has, you know, how quickly they scored. Wow. Okay, that was not close. <laughs> and the branches will be the goalkeeper on that one. And we're seeing a substitution here for Port Moody as Robson comes off under five minutes to play in the match. And then we will be presenting the trophy. Gordon settles for Perry. Keen. Uh, back to Lorenko, the keeper. At the back, there's boarding on. Bujani's on the run. And a uh, foul committed there. <laughs> Not too much to worry about now as um, Three minutes to go, basically. <laughs> Nola Park is keen. Now Gordon, Keen, played back to the keeper. Here's Gordon, now a breakaway feed. And it's a nice save by Lorenko. You can and see Lorenko, look at him, or sorry, yeah. Uh, See Langley just fervent pace up and down everywhere, not slowing down whatsoever. Uh, they're just playing with house money right now. I mean, they know, they know they got wrapped up, so they can take gambles like that, and they don't pay off. It's not really a big deal at well, this yeah, point. Yeah, it's just nice to see when you know the full effort, and, and both teams are showing full effort. It's just sometimes you'll see a team up a goal, up two goals, and kind of just you know lay back and let uh, let the clock yeah let the clock go out. And, I mean, there's two minutes left right now, and it is a championship game. It probably is your last game of, of at least this season. Yeah. I mean, you got to feel pretty pretty happy, but you also want to give it your all because you know you're not going to play in a competition like this. Well, actually, the Provincial Cup, I believe, is still um, – Pro Pro Provincial Cup, excuse me, it takes the uh, best from the Fraser Valley League, the Vancouver League, and the Island League, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and the mini I think, I think you get, like, four bids. Yeah. 
So I think both these teams qualified for the Vi Provincial Cup. Yep. So we'll still be playing in that competition. But uh, in terms of the Fraser Valley Soccer League Championship, I mean, obviously this is the last league game. And then both these teams, I believe, are, have qualified for the Provincial Cup. Now we're into a, the final minute here. Yeah, Raph already checking his clock. He might even call it a minute early, who knows? I doubt it though. I think he's probably gonna call it right at the minute. I've actually seen a referee call it early before when it's been that bad, but I mean, it doesn't really look that good. No, it doesn't. It looks like the ref has somewhere to be. <laughs> and I mean, you're paid to do a job's work. You're gonna, you're gonna do it. And it looks, he's pulling out the, the whistle here. He's gonna call it at a moment's notice. There he goes. And there you have it. So I'll do it. A little bit anticlimactic in the overtime, but Langley gets the job done and wins it 5-2 in OT. And they're the FVSL Premier Champs for 13-14. And uh, the Gunners fall short as they were playing from behind all game long. And unfortunately for them and their fans, I came out to watch not the outcome they wanted. An exceptional offensive performance by Langley, however. Five goals, um, you know, three of which in the overtime. Pretty remarkable, but also what a great 90 minutes by Port Moody. I mean, I, I think the, the wheels kind of fell apart later on, but, you know, for the most part, what a game. They, they you know, they hanged, or they were down a goal late and then scored basically the 85th minute come back have an overtime period and um you know gave their their hometown fans something to cheer about so um overall great uh, day of soccer and a great day for both langley and port moody absolutely so for Gino kutri and jacob hall thanks for watching on vbn sports have a great night everybody
Okay, everybody in the beer garden, can you go to this side, please? You can stay here. Oh, yeah, thanks. Okay, welcome to the presentations for the 2014 Pakenham Cup. Despite to the fact that ultimately we do have a winner and a runner-up, it's a fantastic game. Everybody in the beer garden, I can, I can testify, enjoyed the proceedings. So big hand to both teams for a good event. Let's start off with uh, just a little bit of housekeeping here. We will. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go through the referees, runners up, and winners. Please follow the protocols. Any team pictures being taken, please take them at the media board. We need to support our sponsors at all times, please, okay? Uh, let's start off with a uh, big hand, please, for our officials, starting with the man in the middle, Kyle Williams. <laughs> Come on up, guys. Followed by Tim Smythe, Soren Simbria, and Colin Lawrence. We'll now move on to the game MVP, and as chosen by the league executive, that will be number nine, Tyson Keem. As, as I said, guys, despite the fact that we need to have a runner-up and a winner, uh, let's make sure we recognize it takes two to make a good event. And a big hand, please, for your runner up, runners up today, the Port Moody Lord Co. Gunners. Come on up, guys.
Okay, here comes the moment we've been waiting for, guys. Let me introduce to you the 2014 Packham Cup winners, Langley United. Come on up, guys. Okay, uh, it's my pleasure to uh, introduce the president of BC Soccer, Mr. Roger Barnes, who will present the captains with the Pakenham Trophy. <laughs> 